I love gray tree frogs. Their mellowness, their little gecko hands. Sometimes they're gray, sometimes they're green, sometimes in between. You may have seen them clinging to your windows at night, but there's no need for fright. They're there to catch a moth or two, and don't worry, they won't jump on you. Or will they? Oh my gosh, the gray tree frog. I love Versicolor. I better get some photographic documentation. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no. You've been flattened. Sorry. I'm so sorry. If you haven't already subscribed, do it now. As far as I know, they won't jump on you. Gray tree frogs are quite common in the eastern half of the United States, but they're not commonly seen, which is probably due to their camouflage and the fact that they are nocturnal. I would venture to guess that most people who've seen these creatures saw them around their home, probably near porch lights, as they often attract a plentiful supply of bugs. Because they eat them. The frogs. The frogs eat the bugs. I'm not sure if I was clear on that. Some people may have heard that these frogs are poisonous. Well, that's not exactly true, but it's not untrue. They're not dangerous, but they do have a toxic coating on their skin. And I don't mean like nuclear fallout toxic. The film that they have on their skin is more of an irritant. Now you can hold them and you'll be fine. Just make sure to wash your hands afterwards. And until you wash off any toxins, don't touch your lips, nose, or eyes, lest you suffer the irritants. To me, gray tree frogs are amazing, not just because they can cling to just about anything, but the fact that they can change colors to match their surroundings is fascinating. They can change colors like a chameleon, albeit a little slower. Tree frogs look a little different than most frogs. Firstly, their snouts are more blunt, and secondly, their eyes are set a little farther apart. Additionally, they have prominent adhesive pads on their fingers and toes which help them climb and cling to many surfaces, including trees and glass. Now there are two species of gray tree frogs in the United States. Hyla versicolor, sometimes called the northern gray tree frog, and Hyla chrysocellus, known as the Cope's gray tree frog. However, the two are virtually physically identical, and the only way to tell the difference is to listen to their songs, which are different from one another, or to do genetic testing. And I'm not going to do any genetic testing, so for this video, we'll just keep it simple and say gray tree frog. Adults range in size from 1.5 to 2.5 inches in length, with females being slightly larger than males. Their colors and patterns can vary greatly. Depending on temperature and other factors, they can be pale gray with no pattern to nearly white or leaf green with no pattern. My favorite color pattern is a mix of light green and gray. Their dorsal skin is granulated, and they have a distinctive light spot, usually outlined by a dark line beneath each eye. The limbs are banded with the same gray, dark gray as the back. The groin and undersurfaces of the legs are deep yellow, and the chin and belly are white. Their eyes are light yellow with dense dark brown reticulations. Their range over the United States runs from the Plain States and nearly everywhere east, except the southern two-thirds of Florida. The Cope's gray tree frog can be found over most of the eastern United States, Whereas the northern gray tree frog's range extends from North Texas to the Great Lakes region to the northeastern states and up into Canada, eh? The genus name for both species of gray tree frog, Hyla, means belonging to the woods. It is a largely arboreal species that occupies a variety of wooded habitats and is frequently found in forests, swamps, on agricultural lands, and in backyards. And many people find them clinging to their windows or other items on their porches. Gray tree frogs eat mostly insects such as moths, mites, plant lice, and also spiders, snails, and slugs. They may also occasionally eat smaller frogs, including other tree frogs. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If I make this basket, you subscribe. Please subscribe anyway. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Cause it's got a mess of